Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the React tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to learn how we can print hello world in the browser using React. So without any delay, let's get started. So before we deep dive into the subject matter, there are a few important things which I would like to discuss with you. First of all, as we have discussed in the previous blog, that the source folder contains the code for our main React application. In that folder, you will find two .tsx files, which are namely index.tsx, as you can see in my screen, and another one is the app.tsx. So this app.tsx is usually a wrapper around the component which an application contains. The app.tsx contains the other components which will be used in all pages of the web application, routes based on which other component must render or some configuration regarding the application state. On the other hand, the index.tsx is the entry point for our application. It selects the root ID from the index.html which exists in the public folder and writes on it as per the user interaction or the application state. The index.tsx grabs the root ID, renders the contents of app.tsx. The app.tsx contains the custom components, configurations and routes required for our application. So this is the basics which I believe every beginner must know before we deep dive into our React course. So now in this video as we have discussed, we will print hello world on the browser using React. So let's get it done first. So to do it, first of all, I will erase all the code which has been provided here. And I will simply create a div with a name container fluid. So here I have created a div with a class name container fluid. And in this class, I will write within h1 tag hello world from tutorials in hand. So this is what we have done. And now our job is to run the app and see what is getting rendered in the browser. So how can we run the application? If you have forgotten, go to package.json and here you will see under the script section, start, react script start. So we need to write npm start or npm run start. This will actually run our application and show the output on the browser. So we will write npm start and hit enter. Once we have hit enter, we can see it again called react script dot start and our browser is loading. So let's wait for some time. And yes, as you can see, we can see hello world from tutorials in hand. So this is the what we wanted to do. I hope you have understood the task which we have done. Firstly, we have removed the boilerplate code within the app.tsx. Then we have created a div with the class name container fluid. And within that under h1 tag, we have written hello world from tutorials in hand. So this is what we wanted to achieve. This is all for now. Congratulations for successfully printing hello world on the browser. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to deep dive into the react code topics. So if you like this video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe our channel. We are going to bring up far better videos in the upcoming future. And if you have any doubts, queries, suggestions, feel free to post them in the comment section. We are going to reply. So thank you for now. See you in the next video. Bye.